All right, we're about to go out and shoot the Dickinson XX3D M2 12 gauge, three inch chamber. I'm going to shoot the, I'm gonna to try to get a pattern off of it. I'm gonna shoot the stock muzzle brake. I think it's a cylinder choke. I don't think there's much choke on it. Um, I'm gonna shoot that and then I'm gonna try this. It's a Carlson uh, Skeet choke. I'm going to screw that in there and try to get a pattern on it and see if we can get a little tighter pattern. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're going to shoot a uh, target load. I'll give you the size at the end of the video. Uh, with the stock uh, I believe it's cylinder bore with a muzzle brake. We're going to get a powder on that. All right. All right, we're going to go take a look. All right, this is a pattern at about 15 yards. You can see it spread from the top to the bottom, side to side. It's it's pretty pretty wide. Uh, next, we're going to put the skeet choke in and see what kind of pattern we can get that at 15 yards. Now we got the skeet choke in. Now we'll see what kind of pattern we get at 15 yards. This is the skeet uh, choke. Honestly, I can't really tell much of a difference between this and the stock choke. I mean, leave your comments below, tell me what you think, but uh, I really don't see much difference between stock and skeet. Uh, next, we're gonna try some buckshot to see if maybe we can see a difference between that. First we'll do stock. Alright, alright, we got some uh, buckshot in now. Uh, it's just wolf two and three quarter. Um, got the stock muzzle brake and cylinder bore choke I believe on there. And we're going to see what kind of pattern we get at 15 yards with buckshot. Results from the double off bug shot. Uh, I believe most tree pellets are right here. You got a flower over here, and I believe a couple over here. Uh, I believe this was probably the plug. Um, pretty tight. Uh, I might, we might have to back it up just to see a difference. So, uh, but let's try it. Let's go ahead and try it. With the skeet slug or the skeet uh, plug, uh, skeet uh, choke. Sorry. All right, we got the skeet choke in now. Double alt buck, 15 yards. See if there's any difference. There is definitely a kick difference between this brake and that other one. Let's take a look at the target. This is the skeet result. The skeet uh, choke result. Looks like two here, two pellets here, a pellet there, maybe two. And one there, maybe maybe one or two there. Uh, Skeet plug or skeet choke and stock choke. Um, doesn't seem like a very big difference. Uh, 
I'll tell you what we're going to do. Back it up to the 20 yard. We're going to try the target, uh, target round and the buckshot round with the two different chokes and see if we can get a little bit different. All right, we're five more yards, about, about 20 yards now. Uh, we're going to shoot the target loads. They are two and three quarter, eight shot target loads. Um, we're going to shoot it with the stock muzzle brake. Take a look. All right, we're going to go, I done flipped it, we're going to go ahead and shoot it with the skeet choke, and then we'll compare the two. All right. All right, this is the skeet pattern. To me... It, I mean, it's uh, I don't know. Keep you tell me. Skeet pattern. Fan the the uh, the choke it came with on the on the shotgun. To me, the skeet pattern, pellet to pellet may be a little tighter. Having pellets beside each other, but a total amount of pellets that hit. I think it's pretty much the same. Uh, maybe, maybe a little tighter. Uh, let's try buckshot at 20 yards and see if we can really tell with the nine pellet buckshot. Now we're going to do skeet choke, uh, double off buckshot, 20 yards. See what we got, and then you'll uh, we'll pause. I'll flip it and we'll do uh, the standard choke, 20 yards, buckshot. Alright, let's flip it. Alright, this is the skeet uh, choke, double alt buck. Looks like we got one, two, three four, five, six pellets. These, I think, are just flakes of, uh, let's see, two, four, yeah, six. These are just flakes of, uh, of paint coming off. I don't think those are strikes. We're going to flip it and try the regular choke. All right, double off buck, stock choke that it came with. The, uh, uh, 20 yards. Let's take a look and compare. All right, this is the stock choke. Looks like we've got three pellets that hit out of the nine. Um, now this, like I said earlier, is, see we've got one here, one here, one here, one up here, and one there, uh, and one at the bottom for the uh, skeet choke. So it does seem a little tighter, um, however it's not what I expected, but I guess maybe I should have bought a full choke, but uh, alright. We'll wrap it up here, and uh, we'll see you inside. I was going to go inside, but I just could not leave that target without putting some 45 in. I feel better now. We're back inside, out of that heat. Um, my personal opinion, uh, the ski choke 
and the choke that comes with the Dickinson, uh, I believe, is a cylinder choke. I'm not 100% sure, but in my personal opinion, there's not much difference. Um, 15 yards, definitely not no difference to me. Uh, 20 yards with buckshot may be a little bit of difference. Um, I expected more, so maybe I should have bought a full choke or, or something like that. I was trying to get a tighter pattern. Um, but uh, just so y'all didn't make the same mistake, there's a comparison. Uh, like the video, uh, comment if you have anything you want to see, anything else, uh, have any questions, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. All right, I was going to go inside, but I just could not leave that target without some 45 in it. Oh, if I can hit it. We're cutting that one. <laughs>